Welcome to this installation video for the Oceanic Domestic Steam Generator. This installation must be completed by competent tradesmen. Requirements A hot or cold water supply An RCD protected isolated power supply A drain Location The steam generator can be installed in a number of locations. For example, in the loft or in a room above the steam room, below the steam room, but no lower than 1.5 meters underneath the floor of the steam room, under the benches of the steam room, but only if the access is from outside of the steam room in an enclosed cupboard adjacent to the room. The ideal location needs to be easily accessible and at between waist and chest height, approximately 1200 millimeters from the floor to the base of the unit. Ideally, you should leave space all around the steam generator, but for enclosed areas, allow space to the front panel and to the element panel. Mounting. Mount the steam generator to the wall using the two door lock style holes on the back, the same as you hang a picture. Then use the hole at the bottom to secure the generator to the wall. Water. The water inlet has a half inch male thread. We advised to use a flexi hose in this example, we have used one with an isolation valve built in. There should be a pressure reducing valve in front of the steam generator on the water supply. This should be set at maximum of one bar. Set the pressure when the water is flowing. Most pressure reducing valves will come with a 22 mm or 15 mm conversion kit steam pipe. You should not run the steam pipe any further than 10 meters from the steam generator to the room and anything above 3 meters should be insulated. The steam pipe should not be reduced from the outlet size. For example in England we use 15 millimeter for half inch or 22 millimeter for 3 quarter inch. Sizes 8 kilowatts and above all come as 3 quarter inch. The steam pipe must not go down and then up, as this will create a trap which will block the steam from getting through. Do not run the steam pipe over the water probe access plate. Make sure you insulate any unconcealed pipework, or for increased performance, insulate the pipework. This will stop any spluttering of condensed water coming out of the steam nozzle into the room. The steam nozzle should be positioned 300 millimeters from the floor of the steam room and as far away from user's feet, a doorway or the temperature sensor. In this image, we show an example of how to pipe the top of the generator. The lower pipe, which runs freely through the T-junction, is the steam pipe, which should be run in copper. Drainage. The drain can be connected in copper or plastic, but we prefer to use flexible hose. This can then sit into a washing machine trap. This is good for checking for blockages, as lime scale can cause the drain valve to block if the machine isn't descaled. Watch our descaling video for more information. The pressure release valve can also be connected in the same flexible hose and dropped into the washing machine trap. The machine drains between 10 to 30 litres of water at the end of operation, so appropriate drainage is required. Ventilation. If the steam generator has been boxed in, 
you must allow ventilation using a vent grill. For commercial operation, especially in plant rooms, we advise mechanical extraction fans to be running at all times to lower humidity and temperature, which can cause premature failure to electronics. Power. All wiring must be carried out by a qualified electrician. The machine must be wired on its own isolated power supply. We advise the use of an all pole isolator adjacent to the machine. The machine must be installed on an RCD. The keypad can be installed inside or outside of the room. The connection lead is five meters long and plugs into the circuit board as shown in the image. The temperature sensor plugs into the keypad and has a four meter lead. This should be positioned at 1800 millimeters from the floor and as far from the steam nozzle as possible. There is a connection on the circuit board which gives a 240 volt, 100 watt power supply for a light. This can be switched on using the keypad. There is a gray connector supplied in one of the boxes. Plug this into the circuit board as shown. The connection closest to the edge of the board is the neutral. The light in the steam room must be 12 volts, so an appropriate transformer should be used. Steam on demand. For commercial operators, use our steam on demand mode to save on electricity bills. Install the keypad in the plant room and set the temperature. Hold the drain button for 10 seconds and it will activate steam on demand mode. When the button is pushed, it will illuminate and the steam generator will steam for 30 minutes. 